Hi America, Mike Rowe here with an unsolicited commencement speech delivered at the height of the plague. I can't help but notice that every celebrity in Hollywood has offered their heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2020, with a particular emphasis on graduates from some of America's finest universities. Now, I think that's swell, and I'd like to extend to them my heartfelt congratulations as well. However, I couldn't find a single celebrity who spoke specifically to the graduates of trade schools, or for that matter, to high school graduates who decided to forego a university experience in favor of learning a skill. So, as a guy who runs a foundation whose primary purpose is to promote the skilled trades, I thought maybe I'd offer a brief word of encouragement to them. Here it is. Ready? Thanks. Thanks for resisting the temptation to borrow vast sums of money in exchange for a diploma that guarantees you nothing but an obligation to pay off an enormous debt. Thanks for choosing a vocation that will benefit our country while affording you a genuine opportunity to prosper. Most of all, thanks for ignoring the many myths and misperceptions that keep millions of people from exploring a viable career in the trades, in particular, this stubborn belief that a four-year degree is the best path for the most people and that trade schools are for students who, you know, don't have what it takes to cut it at a university. Instead of a speech, I'm going to introduce you to three people who mastered a useful skill. Each of these individuals received a work ethic scholarship from my foundation and got the training they needed to put their skills to use in the real world. First up, Michael Gamez. Michael's dream was to follow in his grandfather's footsteps and become the best mechanic he could possibly be. He graduated from UTI a couple years ago, and today he's recently married, making more money than most of his buddies with four-year degrees, and living his dream. My goal, and it's been my goal ever since kindergarten, uh, I still have my poster on my wall that states uh, my ending goal. Uh, and it's the same, and it stays the same, and it will always be the same, and it is to have my own shop. Michael Gamez didn't settle for trade school, nor is he a grease monkey stuck in some dead-end job. He's an automotive technician in the 21st century. His opportunities to advance today are unlimited, and he can apply his skill anywhere in the country. And he started, just like you, by learning a skill that's in demand. Now say hello to Chloe Hudson. Chloe's dream was to become a plastic surgeon. Then she looked at the cost of medical school, the cost of medical insurance, and the reality of starting her career hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt, at which point Chloe reconsidered her dream and learned how to weld. Now she's making six figures a year, doing what a lot of people still say is a man's job. You tell me. Does Chloe look like a man? If I want to make a man's man's money, I'm going to do a man's job, and I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care what it takes. <laughs> and I'm going to do it with lashes. I'm going to do it with lipstick. Because if I'm better than everybody else, you can't deny me. And that's what I strove towards. Just be the best at it. Don't be the best female welder. Be the best welder. And you cannot be denied. Chloe Hudson looked beyond the stereotypes and stigmas that keep so many women from pursuing opportunities in the trades. Now she's killing it. So too is this guy, Josh Loy. Josh graduated with two liberal arts degrees and a mountain of debt. At 32, he finally realized he was never going to make enough money to pay off his student loans. So Josh hit the reset button hard and learned a skill that's in demand. I have been working all through this whole ordeal. From what I've heard, we are backlogged. We, are, we have more work than we know what to do with. I have no student loan debt. Next month, I will have no personal debt. And remember that the student loans that you take out today could very easily become the house, the car, the vacation, the retirement, or the family that you are not able to have tomorrow. I could introduce you to a thousand other people like Josh, Chloe, and Michael. Literally, a thousand. And maybe I should. Because these are regular people 
who all applied for and received a work ethic scholarship from the MicroWorks Foundation. And they prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that hard work and the mastery of a skill that's in demand can lead to a prosperous life. If I had the time, I'd share all their stories with you because their success is way more persuasive than anything I could ever hope to tell you. And your success is all but guaranteed if you follow their example. So, that's my advice. Follow their example. Practice your craft every day. Become indispensable to your employer. Show up early. Stay late. Distinguish yourself on the job at every opportunity and be proud of the path that you've chosen. It's a good path and it'll take you far. But do me a favor. As you advance in the skilled trades, don't completely dismiss the liberal arts just because the cost of a degree has become scandalous. Fact is, universities are no longer the sole repositories of worthwhile information. If you have a smartphone and a connection to the internet, then you have access to every single thing currently for sale in the classrooms and lecture halls of America's finest universities for free. Take advantage of that. Be curious about everything and use the tools at your disposal to satisfy that curiosity. As you can tell from the music, I'm about to wrap things up. So here then are my final thoughts on the path that you have chosen. All work is noble and all workers are essential, but some jobs are more secure than others. And when things get back to normal, this country is going to enter a new age of work. A new age of making things and fixing things and building things. An age where skilled workers like you are going to be in demand like never before. If you're a skilled tradesperson with an entrepreneurial spirit, a willingness to get dirty, a disposition to travel, and a burning curiosity to learn all that you can, I'm telling you, your opportunity to prosper has never been better. I encourage you to be that tradesperson. Anyway, thanks again for learning a skill that's in demand, and congratulations for starting a career of meaningful work. Good luck in all you do.